Hi everyone and welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Tonight I am making chocolate strawberry soap and I'm using a combination of two different fragrances um, and I'm going to add the chocolate to the brown portion and because it does discolor and the strawberry I'll add to the rest. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have mostly white with a, then a little bit of tomato red for accent and um, I'm going to do just a tiny amount of this green. I'm not putting it in the soap. This is just going to be so that I can pipe. These are my strawberry embeds and you can see the little leaves on the top. Well, it was, I could have painted them, but I decided to, that I thought it might look pretty if I um, just piped the leaves right over top of that. So that's what the green is for. And I have a little bit of brown, and then I have white. Um, yeah, I think that's all. I'm just doing um, a 10 bar batch of this. So let's go ahead and get started. I just put my white in the piping bag with tip will in 1A. It's just the round. I'm just going to do dollops. My green to pipe on top of the strawberries is not quite ready yet, so I'll shut the camera off when I'm done with the white and come back when the green is ready.
to pipe the leaves on top of the strawberries. Now, I didn't have any small um, piping bags. All I had was large, so I just put it in a Ziploc baggie, and it looks like it might want to squeegee out the end, so I'm just going to hold a paper towel over it and see if I can if it'll work to get these piped. I already did one just to test it and see if and I went ahead I had a little bit of brown left so I just kind of splattered it on to look kind of like chocolate syrup. This is just a leaf tip. Um, I'm not sure which one it is. The frosting is covering it up. But I use this one often. Sorry if my arm is in the way. I don't want to do them too thick or like too much because I don't want it to look, you know, overbearing. I just want it more for color and to cover this so it looks a little bit more realistic. And it's pretty simple to do. You just kind of follow the line or follow the pattern on there. You could even use a writer tip and just kind of move it around with the tip. I know I'm going to have extra soap on here left, so I'll probably just let it set up a little bit more and then maybe pipe some leaves onto some wax paper, freezer paper, that I can use in another soap, because of course I don't want to waste it. I always um, estimate incorrectly. Okay, add some glitter. Okay guys, here is, I think I call it chocolate covered strawberries. And I'll be back tomorrow to show you the cut. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, I am back the next day to cut chocolate covered strawberries. This is what it turned out like. That's pretty. Oh, I like the swirl. I did end up, I think, swirling it a little bit with a chopstick while I was waiting to pipe it. Oh, I like that one.
Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.